Well, welcome. Why don't we, uh, before we get started on, on this, this uh, final piece of our opening convocation, uh, the person that really deserves uh, thanks and our appreciation today is our bagpiper. What a set of lungs that guy's got. Now, as you're all standing in the wind and it's blowing past you, what we've all experienced together for both our soccer teams and uh, for our football team is what we call home field advantage. This is, when the wind is blowing this hard, is actually good for us. So we get to experience that together. As we conclude our opening convocation service today, it's a privilege to be able to tie into that service, uh, this, this service of dedication and thanksgiving. Uh, we would be remiss if uh, we did not offer words of special thanks uh, to Marty and Ken Johnson of Straka Johnson Architects here in Dubuque, who not only designed this building, uh, but have done uh, virtually all of the new construction we've been involved in over the last 15 years. Uh, to Conlon uh, Construction uh, as general contractors for their amazing work, uh, for Fritz and for his, his leadership, along with all the subcontractors and laborers who use their gifts to make this building possible. And we'll remember them uh, in our litany as well. Uh, Clapity Hall is, serves as home to 154 students, uh, four student RA rooms, one resident director apartment, common space, common lounge areas, and everything that helps to make uh, your lives as students and as members of this community, not only uh, comfortable, but hopefully as a way for you to build friendship and uh, lifelong relationships. We're extremely grateful uh, to Joe and to Linda Calapity for uh, providing the funds for this facility to be built. Uh, it's, it's a wonderful learning environment. It's a privilege to be able to call this, this building home and it will stand tall and proud for many, many years, looking south and welcoming uh, new members to our campus uh, for years and years to come. So Joe and Linda, thank you. And uh, let us continue with our <laughs> service of dedication. And I'd like to reintroduce Mr. Calapity. You know, in every situation when you're unprepared, I mean, I'm supposed to do one of these now, like, uh, it's, it's great to be here. I didn't expect to be delivering any words for this dedication, and given the, the wind and the time you've already put in, I'll just say that it, it's turned out to be a, a beautiful facility, and uh, I, I hope it serves the, the purposes that we've intended for, and uh, we're not done. There's still more to be done on campus. and. Uh, uh, for this university, our best years remain ahead of us. Thank you. Um, I'm Tyler Roby, and I'll be uh, filling in for Mr. Nick Strube today. Um, and I'm Adam Penn, uh, moderator of the UDTS Student Council. Would you join me in prayer, uh, printed in your bulletin? Eternal God, we praise you for your servants who have guided this school in paths of righteousness. We thank you for teachers and students, trustees and administrators, friends, alumni, and staff who have given their time and talents to build a university that seeks to give glory to you. Unless the Lord builds the house, those who build it labor in vain. We thank you especially this day for Linda and Joe Calapity, who have given generously of their time and resources to construct Calapity Hall. We praise you, Lord, for their generosity and vision, for their commitment to this university and their love of its students. Give to them such grace that they may continue to serve you in joy and peace. Unless the Lord builds a house, those who build it labor in vain. We praise you, O God, for those who have worked to build this hall, laborers, masons, plumbers, architects, and contractors, and all those who have fulfilled their callings in this place. Unless the Lord builds a house, those who build it labor in vain. Give to the students who will call this home 
a sense of peace and belonging. In the spaces throughout this hall, may you create and nurture the kind of community that reflects your image. Grant fervor, diligence, and gratitude to all so that your creative and redemptive grace may be reflected in this place. Unless the Lord builds a house, those who build it labor in vain. Almighty God, we thank you for all the good gifts you shower upon us. So draw our hearts to you, so guide our minds, so fill our imaginations, so control our wills that we may be wholly yours, dedicated to you. Use us and this school as you will, always to your glory and the welfare of your people through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Before we pray, just a reminder that refreshments will be available in the hall immediately after the service today. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Holy Lord, Father, almighty, everlasting God, we thank you for the gift of this day and the promise of this new year. We stand in awe at the beauty of your creation, the star-spangled heavens, the vibrant colors of fall, the bounty of the harvest, we praise you for the gifts you have given to each one here, for the curiosity of students, the wisdom of teachers, the vision of leaders, the compassion of all those who serve. We thank you for the salvation we have in Christ Jesus, for the gifts of peace and joy and hope, for our mothers and fathers in the faith who have guided us and this school to live to your glory, to further your justice, to embrace your new life. Send your Holy Spirit upon us in this new school year, Lord God, that our lives may be pleasing in your sight. To you be all praise and honor and glory through Christ our Savior, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be with you both now and forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. This concludes our uh, dedication service and our uh, uh, service of um, opening convocation with the exception I've just forgotten that the choir is doing a benediction so I apologize for that Charles and uh, I'll exit the stage <laughs> Thank you, and um, thank you all. This concludes our service. There is lightning uh, to the south and west, so flag bearers, please lower your, your flags. And uh, God bless you all. So there's a reception. 
Uh, there's also classes that will be starting in a half hour, I believe. So thank you.